All right, Dale, appreciate you again taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with me here. Again, the same thing I'm going to ask Chris Whitney. Today's game compared to when you played, the NIL and everything, what is your thoughts on, the, on where basketball is headed from a college standpoint with the NIL and transfer portal? Well, uh, I think it's good uh, doing things with the NIL. I think it needs a little more structure. And, and the reason being uh, because you just don't want everybody just to go after the, the money back. And so I think it needs to be some type of structure and accountability behind that. When you take a look at Clemson's program right now and where it's at, what's your thoughts on the state of the program and Coach Brad Brownell? Um, I think it's still growing. Um, Clemson basketball, of course, it over the years has its ups and downs, and 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 I think it's a great opportunity uh, for Clemson to take that step to the next level to be that great team or elite team, and so hopefully, um, you know, we can get the, the personnel in there. When you look at coaches like Jay Wright, who stepped down at the end of this past season, you look at coaches like Coach K who has retired, obviously, a little bit older than, you know, coaches and been in a long time. And you look at the up-and-coming coaches. Uh, what, do you, what do you think that the message is being sent to the rest of college football with these uh, – excuse me, college basketball with these younger coaches coming in with the NIL and transfer portal? Well, I think it's an opportunity. Uh, you know, those coaches are iconic. Coach K, Coach Wright, those some of the names you mentioned. <clears throat> and I, I, I think the league, the coaches, the colleges, universities are going younger than with guys that can relate, even in the NBA level. They are hiring younger kids, younger coaches that can relate to them. Um, I got to ask you, back in your days at Clemson, Wayne Buckingham comes in as a freshman. Mm -hmm. Any fun ribbing or hazing that went on between you two and, and through the years, what is y'all's relationship like now uh, compared to when you first met? Oh, fun, jokes, uh, family, friends. We, we did a lot together. And uh, even today, that hasn't changed. So nothing but love for what he's doing and uh, what he's getting accomplished and, and where it's going. This tournament right here, obviously raising money for cancer research. And you know, what does it mean to you to come out here and support something like this? It, it, it means a lot because those folks that, that, that uh, Coach Wayne has put uh, this tournament on for means a lot to us. Uh, they helped us through school. They helped us study. They stayed on us, and uh, they, they just great, iconic people. And folks like Miss Tribble, Miss Kennedy uh, Dixon, uh, Frank Howard, all of the folks <clears throat> that we're we're honoring are the reason that we become legendary because they are the true pioneers and legends. The Dale Davis of today versus the Dale Davis back when he played basketball here. What would you tell him? Dale Davis today and the Dale Davis back then. Um, what I would say is don't change the mindset, your focus, and put in the work. And whatever you put in, you'll get out and you can accomplish anything.